Welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you step by step how to value a stock so we can determine if it is a buy or sell. At the end we look at the financial ratios. Leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer. The company we're going to look at is Simply Good Foods. This company is created via a combination of Conyers Park Acquisition Corp and Atkins Nutritionals. During the low carb craze, Atkins got really popular. When my wife lived on Long Island, she went to Robert Atkins as her primary care physician. Let's get started with the model. This company has a market cap of $2.35 billion. So that's the value of the company according to the stock market. It's a mid cap company. They're trading at $24.58, so that's one share of stock. And now let's pull the free cash flow. The way you value a company is you estimate the future free cash flows and then discount that number back to today's value. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. We also need the net income, which is the profit and loss on the income statement, and the revenue, which are the sales on the income statement. And let's take a quick look at the numbers. Everything looks good. They seem to be growing pretty well and they have positive consistent numbers. So we should get a good value for the company. Let's look at a capital structure. They pay 13 million of interest on their debt. Let's go to the balance sheet to see how much debt they have. Current debt 676,000. That's debt due within 12 months. Long-term debt of 190 million that's debt due after 12 months. They pay a high interest rate, 7% interest on the debt. Interest payments are tax deductible, so let's get their effective tax rate. Income before tax of 64 million. Income tax of 16 million. So they pay 26% of taxes. Cost of debt is 5.3%. Let's get the beta so we can figure out the cost of equity. The beta is how volatile the stock is relative to the market. And they have a low beta, 0.72, so the stock doesn't move much relative to the market. So it's a pretty safe stock. Let's go back to the balance sheet to get their current assets. We need to calculate the current ratio later. That's 357 million. Let's see what that is. Cash of 266 million, which is the best asset. 44 million in net receivables. That's how much other companies owe this company. 38 million of inventory and 6 million of other. Let's get their current liability, that's 48 million. This is also needed to calculate the current ratio. 676,000 of current debt, 15 million of payables, that's how much this company owes other companies. 382,000 of taxes payable, that's how much they owe the government. 27 million of accrued liabilities and 2.2 million of other. Stockholders equity is the value of the company according to the balance sheet. That's 837 million. 820,000 of common stock, 105 million of retained earnings. Retained earnings is your prior net income that hasn't been paid out as dividends. And negative 836,000 of accumulated other comprehensive income. The income statement shows us the operating income, which is 80 million. We need this to calculate the interest coverage ratio later. Let's look at a capital structure. Cost of debt is 5.3%. Weight of debt is 19%. Cost of equity is 7.85%. Weight of equity is 81%. And the WAC is 7.4%, which is a blend of the cost of debt and cost of equity. That's a discount rate we're gonna to apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows that's up here in blue. We also estimate a terminal value, which is all cash flows past year for. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. That's in green. We get a value of the company at $2.9 billion. We divide that by 96 million shares. We get a calculated stock price of $30. They're trading at 25, so they're trading at a 19% discount. So it's a buy according to the model. Let's see what Simply Wall Street says. They're at $38 a share, so they're also saying the company is undervalued. Let's see where the stock has been trading. It looks like it was in the low 30s, but then it dropped a lot to around 14, 15, but it's come up since coronavirus. 
So it should do well during a time like this because this is a product people are going to probably want to continue buying. Let's look at the financial ratios. Terrible PE, not such a great price to sales and a good price to book. PE is stock price over earnings per share. To calculate earnings per share, that's net income over shares outstanding. I like to see below 15, they're at 83. So investors are paying $83 for $1 of earnings. Price of sales is stock price over sales per share. To calculate sales per share, that's revenue or shares outstanding. I like to see below 2.5, they're at 3.2. So investors are paying a little over $3 for $1 of sales. Price to book is Stock price over book value per share. To calculate book value per share, that's equity over shares outstanding. I like to see below 3.5, there are 2.8. So investors are paying about $3 for $1 book value, which is a pretty good ratio. A really high current ratio, a good interest coverage ratio, and a terrible ROE. Current ratio is current assets over current liabilities. They have a lot of cash, so they could probably be doing more with that cash than letting it sit in the balance sheet. They could be investing in their company. ROE is net income over equity, 3%. I like to see above 20%, so that's not good. Interest coverage ratio, EBIT over interest expense, that's six. So they can cover their interest payments six times, so that's good. The best way to look at ratios is to compare them to similar companies. I've done videos on Hormel, Kellogg, Kraft, and here's Simply Good. And Simply Good has a worse than average PE and price of sales. They are better than the average in price to book at 2.8 versus the average of 4.1. They have the highest current ratio, although too high. They have the worst ROE. They are lower than average in debt, which is good. And they're the smallest company by far. The other companies have more of a brand name and been around longer. So let me know what you think of the video. Leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer. Thanks for watching.